Hey, what's up everybody? VR Gamer Dude here, and today we are finally gonna get a chance to check out Moss, and I am super, super excited for this. So, man, out of left field, I, I thought this was a PSVR exclusive, and then boom, there it is. It's available for PC, and got a chance to play it over the weekend, and it is breathtaking. I mean, this game is absolutely freaking stunning in VR and, and, and the scale and the, the oh, it's just, I, I can't even tell you, I gotta show you. So let's jump in there and let's take a look at Moss. All right, here we are. We are in Moss and, and man, I gotta say, it, I, this already looks amazing. The scale of this hall, the music, uh, yeah, it's like just the little reflections on this book. It, that that it's the little touches like that that I love. So, all right, let's get it started. All right, so I got some whispers and a butterfly here. Very cool looking butterfly. Your time has come at last, dear reader. Awesome. While we began this tale long ago, we hope it is yours to finish. But this story is not yours alone. No, it is tied to another. And the journey you take together could change the fate of both our worlds. Shall we begin? Oh, hell yeah. They called it the Cinder Knight. What came from those dark, so cool. starless skies would change the world of Moss forever. The peace that had settled across the land was broken by an unconquerable nightmare. And that night, the animals nearly met their end. Oh no. First, Tell me more. They killed the king. A winged no way. creature broke from the shadows and plucked him from his royal bedchamber high atop the tallest tower. That is not cool. Next, the serpent Sarfog and the army of the Arcane tore up from the underworld. They ravaged the castle in search of that which gave the king power beyond understanding. One of the fabled glass relics. Oh, a glass relic. Okay. Well, now, now it all makes sense. The King's Guard fought bravely, but the castle soon pulsed with the Arcane's evil. Every room was gutted, every statue, tapestry, and adornment hexed. But the glass was never found. Even the reclusive sprites set aside their differences on that faded night. They sent a great champion, empowered by their own glass relic to challenge the serpent and its steel army. Meanwhile, Sir Argus, commander of the King's Guard, led the survivors west through a temple long abandoned by their ancestors and far away from their newly risen enemies. It was an arduous escape. Finally, after passage beneath the impassable mire, they found refuge in a clearing, hidden safely in the trees. Man, that's awesome. Glad they made it. Argus charged back to join the sprite champion at the mire's edge. Together, they fought back the arcane and sealed the temple passage that led to the clearing. But the champion was gravely injured. Clutching his glass, he retreated deep into the forest where he drew his last breath. Oh no. A large tree grew upon him. It stood many years in watchful duty, safeguarding the glass and awaiting its next hero. Good tree. <laughs> Whoa. That hero, albeit an unlikely one, did arrive at a time she'd be needed most. Okay, you know, right off the bat, I gotta say, this looks absolutely amazing. 
Um, I, I've always loved the the whole miniature scale thing, and, and man, was out this adventuring is really beyond the edge of the clearing. Dusk was creeping in, but she wondered what she might find if she went just a little farther. Oh, hey there, buddy. What you got? Ah, oh, something shiny. Whoa! What was that? Oh. Big bird. It's okay. The bird's gone. You can come out. Come on. Come out now. What you got there? Oh, she was not exactly cool. sure what she roused, but she felt no danger from the I being always love it when you catch a reflection of yourself in VR. It, it, it's always like one of those wow moments, and, and yeah, that was Quill had really unexpected. The village gates would soon so. close. Oh, and okay. Night would follow. All right, come on, Quill. We gotta go. Uh, one of my lights is blocking my right touch controller from seeing the sensor very well, so sorry if it glitches out a couple of times. Um, okay. So, alright. Control's pretty standard to what you would expect for a game like this. Uh, I gotta say, it's all laid out very well. Um, and, and, you know, right off the bat, just I, the minute I started slashing blades of grass, I just got this instant, insta perma grin, and, and it was just, oh wow, this has got a Zelda vibe, and I knew I was going to fall in love with it, and I totally have. So, okay, so aside from slashing grass here, um, we also have to assist Quill in her journey. So there will be some block puzzles that we have to do. And let's get up here and jump across there. No, no grass shall survive. God, the graphics in here look amazingly good. And, and it's just the scale of everything. That, uh, that uh, I'm just gonna sit here and look at Quill for a second. Uh, hey, how's it going? Yeah. All right, let's get on with it. Night, her uncle often warned, was when danger was most present. But Quill preferred the stories of the magical creatures that woke to protect the forest. And the music is so chill. Really, really liking this. Oh, like that little spin move she did. Haha. -ha. Don't know what that is, but I found it. Um, um, hey Quill, hurry up. They they're gonna close the gates. Uh oh. Oh, buddy. I think we're hosed. Didn't make it on time. And the 3D depth in here is really nice as well. Ha! <laughs> Take that, boxes. It's like all this smashing the boxes and cutting the grass. I mean, it, it is. It just, it really, to me, and, and correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments, but I, it just kind of has a, a Zelda vibe to it. So, digging that. 
Aha! I shall open the gate. And and you know I do gotta say I I, I like how Polyarc has has interweaved me into the story as as this being that's overlooking what's going on. It it, it kind of helps me to buy into it a little more. Oh man, that's so cool. Oh, hey buddy, walking here. Hey kids, how's it going? Yeah, I'm back. All right. Hey, hey man, catching anything? No. Uh, uh, piss off. Okay, I'll piss off. Yes, ma'am. Oh, what do we have here? All right, first puzzle. So, hey man, you wanna show me how to do that? No, no, oh, okay. So, all right, let's see, what do we gotta do? There's a scroll up there, and I gotta find a way to get this bridge down. Um, cannot jump that high. So, oh, oh I got a little visitor here. <laughs> so yeah, we, we got a kitten. Uh, this is Fizzgig. Fizzgig, say hi to the world. So, yeah, you run along and play, but not on my green screen or on my lap. So, sorry about that. Okay, so, um, anyway, what are we to do here? Um, no. I don't know why I keep cutting the grass. I mean, it's just habit. Cut the rope? Nope. Well, what the hell am I supposed to do? Oh, scratch there. Oh, wait, I see it. And then on and off. Yeah, that was it. Biscuit, get, get off my lap. Sorry, kitten. Is quite the kitten, let me tell you. It was a surprise one day when I came home from work. And got it. Aha! So, you know. I mean, no, nothing groundbreaking here. Typical platformer style uh, puzzling, but man, I'm loving the environment. Um, okay, what do I do here? Oh, I see it. Okay. Interesting use of this wheel. Okay, though, that one's short. That one's long. I uh, jump up there. Yes. Ha! Victory! Thanks to her new friend, Quill had saved priceless grains from the hourglass. Mm. Mm, nice. Thought she was gonna kind of take damage for falling that far. She raced to the door of the cottage she shared with her uncle, hoping once he saw her discovery. He'd lose himself in tales of its legend. Uncle Argus was watching the evening light dim when Quill burst through the front door of their cottage. Uncle! Uncle, there's something you have to see! Out past the bell again, he scolded. Quill, yeah. I've told you countless times. I know, Quill replied, crestfallen. I didn't mean to worry you. But I found something strange and magical. It's magical. Quill's hands trembled as she showed him the glass. What is it? she asked. 
A look of panic spilled over her uncle's stoic exterior. Where did you find this? roared Uncle Argus. Quill had never seen her uncle so shaken. No. Uh -oh. Uncle Argus be worried. Just west of the clearing, she explained. And as soon as I picked it up, something started helping me. Uncle Argus followed her motion. A reader? With you, here, right now? Uh, yeah, Quill, man. You I'm right here. Very powerful and very dangerous, he said with great concern. If I could take this burden from you, I would. But this reader has chosen. Even with the moon full and bright, I must go right away. Quill pressed. Where are you going? I can help. We can help. No, he snapped. They'll find you and tear you apart. Yeah. I have to go alone. Stupid little mouse. For your own safety and for everyone what were you thinking? In the clearing. His long, heartfelt hug told her he was heading for danger. I'll be back before midnight. Until I return, I need your word you will not leave the clearing with that glass. Promise me, Quill. I promise, she said reluctantly, wondering where her uncle was going so deep into the night. Whoa, this is so cool. Oh man, I love this. This is, uh, like I said earlier, I've always been a sucker for this miniature scale stuff. And, and uh, this is amazing hey, looking. Kid. Yeah, hey kid. kid. Wake up. Hey kid, over here. I know where your uncle went. I can show you. You're twofold now, very important. Bring that glass and your sidekick too. And get my band. To need them. <laughs> okay, that was a little Quill crazy. Called out. Hey, Starling, wait! Let's explore a little bit. Um. Okay. What was that? I have no idea why that happened. Quill had never met a starving. In campfire stories, they often meddled in the lives of mortals. And when they appeared, Mischief followed. Yeah, hey, come back. Passage through the Eastern Gate was strictly forbidden. But despite her promise, Quill knew in her heart that Uncle Argus needed her. Will demanded answers. Starving, you can't just barge in here with your riddles. Yeah. Where is he? What do you know? Give it up, yo. The trouble your uncle's heading for is the kind only you and that silent giant up there can get him out of. Aha. Uh -huh. That time I had to push it.
This way, kid. Urge the starving. And don't forget to tuck your ears in. Uh-oh. Oh, how cool. It, it's like, it, it, it's really cool how Polyarch did the, the, the miniature scale, but the fact that we're, we're like miniature scale because we're down here with the mouse, but we're still in the, the, the true scale of the world here. So I, I just, just awesome, awesome art design and yeah, props to them. <laughs> so okay. I, I mean, and this is this is a game I could totally get lost in for hours. That freaked me out. <laughs> uh Now, you know, it does say to play this seated, but I think it'd be kind of cool to play it standing, too. Aha! Still have no idea what those are. I really need to look that up. Okay, so where am I trying to get to? I'm trying to get to over there. Can, oh, gotta go up there. No! Yep, there we go. Just on the other side is the Meyer, the starving assured her. Um, There's a good chance your uncle's still there. How can I ride that squirrel? Whoa. Did you hear that? The starving seemed anxious. I've ruffled enough leaves in these parts. I can't be seen with you. I'll catch up with you later. Just don't go and die on me. <laughs> okay. This is nuts. Oh man, the lighting, the sh oh god, I could just go on about this game for hours, but unfortunately I am not going to do that, uh, because, you know, I don't want the video to get too long, in fact, I think we're going to go ahead and cap it here, but, you know, like a few final thoughts. If you have a, a rift or if you have a vibe, and you got to play this game. I mean, this is absolutely gorgeous and and the storytelling and 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 the graphics and i mean everything about this game is absolutely fantastic so i am going to throw a link for this one down in the description so you can grab a copy but for me guys that's going to do it uh this is vr gamer dude 
Signing off, y'all. Peace. And up oh, there's Fizzgig again. All right, Fizzgig, say goodbye to guys. Say bye. Oh, where you at? Uh, there you go. Sorry. Bye. We're leaving. Okay.